Hey guys, welcome back to Murad and Run. And in today's video, we will be talking about cost of studying here in Canada as an international student. Now, this cost can definitely go up if you want to live a luxurious life. But ideally, as an international student, what a student spends it, we'll be talking about that. So, without further ado, let's directly jump into it. First major expense for a student here in Canada is rent. Now, ideally, before COVID, the rent was somewhere around 400 to 700 Canadian dollars. Now, this has gone up to 600 to 1000 Canadian dollars because everything, everything that I say here would be accounted for inflation because lately Canada has been seeing a lot of inflation. So, first major expense that you have is rent. Now, how do you cut down on rent? The best way to cut down on rent is to uh, rent an apartment and then sublet the apartment which I understood here otherwise taking a student accommodation or taking an accommodation given by the college ideally ends up you end up paying at least 100 or 200 dollars extra than what other people will be paying so that's around 6000 rupees extra every month so ideally what you can do is you can rent an apartment and then share it with other people that is the best way of living here in Canada Second is food and groceries, which used to be 200 to 300 dollars. Now it's more or less like 250 to 350 dollars. Not a lot of difference in groceries. Now, the point about groceries is ideally the best way to buy groceries is to go to Costco. Now, many people do not know, but Costco ends up giving you extreme, extreme, extreme uh, coupons, extreme, extreme, extreme discount bundles. So that's the best thing here in Canada. Otherwise, if you go to a local store, I understood this that a local store, a gas station can sell a Coke can for $3.5 and same would be sold in a Costco for 40, 0 0.40. That's it, 0 0.40 and $3.5. That's the major difference. So ideally, when you're buying groceries, you can buy them in bulk from Costco. Also, I just realized this video is not sponsored by Costco. You can buy them anywhere if you find a bulk store, but Costco here is a bulk store. So just an advice. Next is transportation depends on which city you're living in. So let's suppose you're studying in Toronto. So ideally you'll be spending $3 on every trip, somewhere around 3.25. Here in Quebec, you'll be spending $3.7, $5 on every trip. But then you can buy a monthly pass, which would cost you around 90 to 100 Canadian dollars. Or, or, or what you can do is if your college provides you with transportation, which is possible in many colleges here. So you have Durham College and many other colleges, which and University of Toronto also, so which gives you a card. In that, your all transport expense of everything gets waived off. So that's a good thing, right? So ideally, if you have to keep it, we'll keep it somewhere around 100 to 150 CAD. Internet would be another expense. Internet would be somewhere around 30 to 50 CAD. Mobile phone would be a major expense. Ideally, every month you will be spending anywhere between 50 to 100 on your mobile phone. Yes, so mobile phone would include your uh, data pack and data here is very expensive. So I can give you an idea. The amount of money that I spent for one month here in Canada on data, because I wanted a lot of data because I travel and I have to make reels, is equal to the amount of money that I've spent on my Geo phone since the past two years. So what I spent on my Geo phone, Geo SIM card is what I spent in one month on data. So yes, it's very expensive. Next is utilities. So anywhere you're living in Canada, you will be spending uh, so money on gas, money for water, money for electricity, all these hydro, we call it hydro air. So what does hydro mean? You need to insulate all your house, right? So for that, a lot of gas would be required. So hydro, you can expect an expense of somewhere around 50 to 150 Canadian dollars for that. So there are other smaller, smaller expenses also that you can be incurring here in Canada. Let's talk about all those. So for the applications, you can think of anywhere between 45 CAD to 200 CAD. For study permit, you can think of 150 CAD plus 85 CAD for a photograph and biometrics. Medical test, now that completely depends on you. Flight tickets, you can think of anywhere between a thousand CAD to, <laughs> it's your choice how much you want. The, uh, if you want to come via a business class or a super uh, premium economy class, it can go up also. Health insurance, you can think of 600 to 900 CAD. What is the amount of funds that you need to show here in Canada? So if you're planning to come to any province of Canada, you would need to show 10,000 CAD in your account. So it would be a GIC kind of a thing you will be submitting all this money and 10,000 CAD is 60, 6 lakh rupees. So 6 lakh rupees you will be submitting in an account and you will receive that money back once you come to Canada. 10,000 if you're planning to come to Canada or else 
except for Quebec. If you're planning to come to here, Quebec, then you would need 11,000 card. Now you have other expenses that are completely personal specific. I've seen so many people buy a car here because obviously the distances are very far. Now the car is not that expensive, but the insurance for the car is very expensive. So it completely depends on you whether you want to do those expenses or not. But on a bare minimum, these are the things that you would require. Plus a miscellaneous of somewhere around 200 CAD would be something that I would definitely keep. So to give you a ballpark number, 1200 CAD to 1600 CAD is what you can be spending here in Canada. If you live at the bare minimum. Now, would you be able to recoup this money? Absolutely yes. But first, this number that I'm telling you is mostly in the major cities. So major cities in your Toronto, Vancouver and Montreal and Ottawa, all these cities. Rest, it won't be that expensive. But would you be able to recoup this money? Absolutely. I have met at least 50 students here in Canada, at least 50 students. There has been none, none of these people have been taking money from their parents. If you want, you can recoup all this money because even on minimum wage, you'll end up reco recovering all your living expenses. And I've seen so many people gather money for their future, for their next course or send some money back home. And trust me, I'm not exaggerating. Here, everyone works part-time, everyone, and they save for themselves. Because otherwise, if you don't, you'll be spending a baller if you're asking your parents for money. I've not seen many people do that, but what are the types of work from home opportunities that you have or what are the types of work that you can do here in Canada or what are the part-time options that you have which are highest paid, you have to watch this video and hope you enjoyed this video. Do hit the subscribe button. Thank you.